everyone, and welcome to the 2063rd thing I posted. Now, today we have a speed round event, and it is an award show for captains of show choirs. All right, our first and last person is Jordan. Please come up and collect your award. <laughs> I'm okay. Thank you. All right, and that is it. Right. Yes, I beat the game. What did you do that for? <laughs> well, everyone, it looks like we have an exciting day today. Uh, we have the gymnastics section of the Olympics that's going to happen today. There's a secret we're not going to tell you because the, the players might find out. Now, the old judges, for some reason, quit, so they picked two people from the audience, so it is me and this brain-dead cow who will be judging today. So, uh, let's go with the first contestant. Well, um, salute, I guess. Yes, 2320 London Drive, on my way. So, her name is Naomi? Yeah, and her last name, Santiago. She has been dead roughly two hours. Her neighbor saw her body about a half hour ago. Someone down the street was up with her baby and heard a scream about an hour and a half ago and called the cops. Cause of death? She fell off the roof. Well then. Did your daughter have any enemies? Uh, none that I know of. I don't know, I couldn't imagine anybody hating her. She's the sweetest kid. Was the sweetest kid. <laughs> what was the last thing that you said to Naomi? Was there any chance that she ran away? Whoa. Well, one of her friends was having a party on this same day and was, we were all playing. We were going to go to my mom's house to visit. And all, oh, the last thing I remember, but, but she... Oh, <laughs> she said she hated me. <laughs> Do you have anyone that would want to get back at you for something that you did? Well, I, I, I never go out much or talk to anyone. And... And my mom is dying, and I haven't seen Naomi in three days, and I had to go to how, down to Rao to take care of her. <laughs> three days? Wouldn't you take Naomi with you? No, it's too far away. She can barely last a night without her best friends. Who are her best friends? Uh, well, I don't know. She always secludes herself in her bedroom, and, and she only comes out to use the restroom and to eat something. And, uh, and I, I have to take it to her room. Thank you, Mrs. Santiago. I'm so sorry about your daughter. Mm. <laughs> Where are those stupid forks? Niece lead one. Found them. At least kill three people with these. Alita Olson, you have a call on line three. Grace, go talk to the co-workers. This could be the lead that we've been looking for. Who's that? 
Hello, Where? Lucas. Who, who are you? You won't need to know where you're going. Stop! NYPD! Take me as far as you, away as you can with $100. Go! Nope, I'm Arlo. You like the color orange? Because that's what you're going to be wearing for the next 10 decades. <sighs> I'm turning into a spoon! Okay, I think that's good. Rolling action. No! No, wizard man, don't do this to me. I did nothing. So, uh, we have to have the spoon walking in some way. What? <laughs> no, I know. I mean, like, you have to be underneath the table and walk with him. Just so it, like, over. <laughs> so, we're tight on the spoon, but we can't get our hands. Yeah. Okay. Um, you want to try it? Let's do a handheld. We'll do handheld on this. And then you can always prop it in post, or let me get this, or um, we can try shooting it like super tight. So you try first, and then I'll try. Actually, no, there's something. Okay. I mean, we don't have to take it off. Can... Have you seen this one? No, I'm doing something. Okay, right now. okay, well, I was okay. thinking. Yep. We... Rolling action. I'm just going to the kitchen, going to uh, see what's going on in the kitchen for some reason. That's a wrap. No, it's, not, it's not a wrap.